What's up everybody, it's Zach from Switch Force, and it is another day for another new Switch game. We've got the big one. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is here, physical version in hand. Hopefully, if you guys got it physically or if you got it digitally, you're enjoying it already. But for those of you that didn't, let's open this bad boy up. It's one of my favorite box arts. I really love it and it may be my favorite Switch box art because it's so freaking colorful and partial to all that bright vibrancy. And while I do love the Breath of the Wild art, I think this one takes cake for me personally. I'm um, just give you guys a quick little look. It's a really cool box there uh, that showcases some of the different characters, some of the different modes, the different items, and then the front is just oh so freaking colorful. Uh, I got it at Target, which if you've seen, they have that huge, crazy, weird Mario Kart promotion where their whole store is decked out. Uh, and so it came with a Nintendo Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Switch, I guess, themed Rubik's Cube. So we'll get to that in a second. First, let's take care of the game and see if there's anything fun inside. Now, I don't think there's any goodies in the form of an instruction manual or anything like that, uh, but it says jump into the driver's seat with more tracks, modes, and features than ever before. New faces to race with, duke it out in a new and improved battle mode. Smart steering, local play, online play, hold two items, all that good. So, oh cool, so we got a little control guide on the inside there, check that out, showing you with the grip uh, what you want to do to throw those shells, to steer, to get that drift backwards and forwards, and then, of course, we've got the little cartridge down below, and it bears the front of the, uh, front of the, the game case, which you'll see in a split second. Ta-da! Looking real nice. I love this cart, and I freaking just still love the Switch form factor. Always fun to get these little guys and realize there is a whole huge game with 48 tracks on this. Holy crap! That's a lot of content in one little play, so we'll pop that back in for a quick second. Let's open up this, uh, this Rubik's Cube. Let's see what this is. I have never completed a Rubik's Cube. I feel like it would take me a very long time, although I'm always amazed by people uh, like Logic who can do it like in, what, 40 seconds or something like that. Oh, this one's actually pretty cool quality, so check this out. So, uh, it spins pretty well. Obviously, it's not like totally perfect quality, um, like the official ones you can buy, um, but let's get it back to the original. So, of course, we've got the Switch logo right here, which is very cool. Uh, we got King Boo repping the new character there. We've got the game cover right there, and then we've got Link, Isabelle, and Inkling Girl. Let's get that up close right there. Looking all happy and bright and vibrant. And then we've got a little screenshot of Mario and Inkling Girl Racing. Bowser Jr. And I think that's all of them. Yeah, that just about does it. That's very cool. I like that a lot. A nice little extra to mess around with. Now we're going to put Mario Kart 8 Deluxe into the Switch. Alrighty, Switch in hand. Game cart here. Let's pop this in and see how quick it loads. Uh, I've already got the download version of Mario Kart 8 in here. So not sure that messes things up or not, but it still should go uh, how it would be with a cart. And you can see, if we get real up close, you can see there's a little cart icon. So we'll tap on that, load this up with my profile, and see. I think it's got pretty quick loads. There's my camera, there's my window. Hello, little tripod. And there's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe loading up all sorts of fast and furious. Ready for action, ready to race, and this game is just incredible. Loving it so much. While we're here, just to give you guys a quick little tour uh, of the different stuff in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, there's single player with Grand Prix, time trials, verse races, and battle. Uh, the Grand Prix will have uh, all of the cups, all of the courses unlocked, and also all the characters unlocked. Now, if that's something that makes you sad instead of glad, don't worry, uh, because you still have to unlock all the cart parts. So all of the wheels, all of the frames, all the gliders, you still have to get all that stuff. Uh, on your Mario Kart 8 journey, so there still is something to unlock. They made a nice, I think, uh, middle ground of like, hey, we're gonna give you all the DLC, all the cups unlocked, all the Grand Prix, and still allow you to have fun unlocking something. Plus, all the characters at the start is cool, because then you can get instant access to Dry Bowser, Bowser Jr., uh, the Inkling Boy and Girl, stuff like that. Um, the battles are awesome this time around. They bring back uh, Balloon Battle, they bring in um, Renegade Roundup, which is a brand new mode, you've got Coin Runners, you've got Shine Thief, um, which is right there. You've got, what else we got? Shine Thief, uh, Random Battles, Balloon Battle, Renegade Roundup, ba bomb Blast, and um, Coin Runners, which I mentioned. So those are all very cool, and I'm loving those. Then the online is really snappy. All the load times in general for this, getting into races, out of races, real quick. Um, you've got multiplayer, we're unlocking more stuff because of coins. Uh, there's local multiplayer, which can be two, three, or four. If it's two player split screen on the Switch, it's still 60 frames per second. When it goes to four, three, or four, uh, it drops. But it still looks great. Online play, like I said, really snappy and good. You got wireless play as well between two local switches. And um, then down here, you've got play stats, which shows you what you've done overall. Um, you've got your amiibo if you want to sync some of those up for the different suits. Get in there and see that a little bit. And then you've got Mario Kart TV, um, which 
Can you still share clips here? Maybe you can. Got your little video saved here of your races, so if we want to load one up, we can cue it in. This is a race that happened between me, Jake, and Gabe. And uh, this is actually longer load than it takes normally with an, an original race, but I think since it's like recollecting the replaying, it takes a little bit of time, but very cool. Oh, it's actually a balloon battle. So this is what we're talking about, the new battles, and you can watch this crazy chaos happen uh, if you want to relive the memories with your little me friends. Um, that's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, though, and it is a very, very full and awesome package, uh, and I really, really like it. So it's got our full recommendation, and I think that it's a must-have for any Switch owner's library. Oh, and just to be complete, the final tab here is info, which is the last little thing we can click on um, that gives you driving techniques, items, uh, if you wanna learn about what the new Feather does, what the new Boo does, most of you probably know. Uh, but if not, you can learn there, and then it gives you a summary of the different battle modes. So if you wanna know, hey, Renegade Roundup, what's going on with the authorities on patrol run Renegades, a little cops and robbers type mode, you can find that out there, which I think is pretty nifty. Actually, currently prepping for the tournament we're doing with you guys, so hopefully you made it out to that, or if not, if you're seeing this like immediately, we're streaming a, a live stream tournament on Friday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern, and we'll be doing more of those, so just stay tuned. We give you like a code so you can enter the tournament and play if you already got this on Switch. If not, though, that's what you got going on with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe physical version. I always like doing this stuff because uh, I think it's fun to still have physical copies of games and still have physical, uh, just like the tactile nature. I like opening stuff up um, and and really experiencing Switch in physical form. So there's Mario Kart Deluxe. There is the cool uh, Rubik's Cube that comes with it at Target. So if you're gonna pick it up physically and you're waiting, I recommend getting it at Target because one, they have that cool Mario Kart display at most of their stores. And two, you get this fun little uh, extra along with your Mario Kart Deluxe game and then you can pop it in, play it, and you will be happy because this is the best version of Mario Kart ever. And I hope you guys go and have fun with that. Until next time, everyone, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest from the Switch and its releases and these unboxings. Hit that notification if you want to be the first to see what the cartridge looks like inside of the case. And until next time, everybody, thanks again. Have a fantastic day. Switch Force out.